<sighs> Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey. It's Saturday, right? Saturday. It's the day after Friday. And Friday, uh, uh, Friday uh, in love, but also had a few too many rum-based drinks. I don't feel great today, but... Choices were made. Yeah, choices were made. We're at our favorite, like, hangover place, which is Hot Pot City, located in one of the most inconspicuous locations. Uh, this little parking lot in the middle of, uh, like right by PSU, right by NATO Parkway. So we're gonna go grab a bite. We'll show you some of the eats and fix this hangover. But <laughs> before we do that, before we do that, if you love real estate, mm -hmm. live in the Pacific Northwest, mm -hmm. and maybe you're just trying to get over your hangover. You are. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, well, be sure to click that subscribe button down below for more great content just like this. We're both dying today. We went out for drinks last night and our favorite hangover cure is Hot Pot City. So if you're looking for some great Chinese hot pot or you've never had it before, come give this spot a try. We're gonna show you uh, some of our favorite things and um, yeah, that's it. Patrick, uh, what did you get? Um, I've got the mala base going right now. Mm -hmm. They are grabbing our veggies. I think I got some cilantro, broccoli, yam, napa cabbage, corn, some yakisoba noodles. Mm-hmm. Yum. Yeah. Yum. I got a lot of different meats and some veggies. I got some lamb, beef, some fish balls, meatballs, some dumplings. Typically with hot pot, you don't do the noodles until your last dish as the starch from the noodles starts to congeal the broth. So uh, I'm gonna save my noodles for last. Anthony Bourdain said that the best hangover cure is hot pot. If you've never had it, it's basically like the Chinese equivalent of fondue. So you can kind of like, you create your own sauces. So this is like a peanut base with some vegetable oil, onions, uh, green onions, some garlic, and this is their Taiwanese barbecue sauce. Uh, and then you just drop all your stuff into the pot and let it cook. And then you put it in a little bowl and you can dip it in your, your sauces. I'm not as elegant as you. I'm just gonna drop those bad boys right in there. I typically start putting the fish in first, and then I move over to the uh, meatier proteins. And then I'll do my, uh, oh, I guess I do vegetables as well. Uh, but then I'll do my dumplings or, or starchier stuff last, so that it thickens up at that point. Um, and then you have your little card, you can show them how they order. Because it, it used to be you would just walk up to the bar and get stuff, but because of COVID, they've tried to be more mindful. So you pick your, your lunch version, lunch or dinner, and then you circle everything you want and they bring it out to you. <laughs> I got cabbage for days. Cabbage for days? To start, we got some fish and some shrimp and some fish balls and some Napa cabbage. Yeah, try this fish. <laughs> Dip it in some of this barbecue. Mm. So good. So good. First bites, how are they? Hot. Hot. <laughs> good. 
I've kind of just devolved into dump all the meats into the pot. So that's what's happening. Oh my god, we lost some meatballs. They're going in anyways. Yeah. Everything's fine. I almost dropped my uh, phone into the soup. We're doing okay. This has gone from. Uh, oh geez, we're upside down now. <laughs> We've gone from influencer status to swamp goblins. Still good though. <laughs> One of us is a swamp goblin. I'm the swamp goblin. <laughs> this is Patrick's. It's very neat and organized. Here's mine. <laughs> For meats, I usually do like five to seven minutes if I can wait that long, but usually that's adequate. Uh, noodles are usually like two to three minutes, and fish in general is about two to three minutes. Just for context as you're cooking, Patrick's goes a lot quicker. Potatoes and yams are usually yeah. the longest, and then everything else is like a minute maybe. Yeah. 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 He gets to eat faster. Round two here, we got some artificial K-Rab, we got some meatballs, we got some beef, we got some more cabbage. It's noodle time. It's final destination, noodle time. Um, and I have little dumplings in there. Super excited about those. I'm not gonna make it to Noodle Town, unfortunately. Uh, population one. Population one. Get them nudes. Oh, mukbang. Yeah, uh, yeah, there you are. Yum. So we have a little fried tofu. Got some pork belly. We got some wontons. And some dumplings. Is there more room for more food? Is there more room? Is there room at the inn? So, no vacancies? That's all I got. Oh, shoot. Turn on that no vacancy sign. Pull that cord. Do it. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. No room left. All right. Well, we we came, we saw, we... Hot potted. We hot potted. You feeling better? I'm feeling great. It always hits the hits a spot, especially either on a cold day oh, yeah. or a not feeling great day mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. as in the case today a little bit of both a little bit of both yeah that that steamy broth will get you fix you right up so if you guys are looking for some amazing amazing super authentic chinese hot pot be sure to check out hot pot city i myself have been coming here for like almost 10 years uh it's the same two folks working here every single time we show up uh, owners are really lovely sweet people and uh, they'll be excited to have you. So yeah, be sure to check them out. But we wanna hear from you. What are your favorite spots in town to grab a bite when you're not feeling great? Um, we'd love to hear about that in the comments. So be sure to drop your favorite spots down below. And if you liked what you saw here today, be sure to click that like and subscribe button um, and we will catch you at the next video. All right, goodbye. Bye.